Oh, oh I spilled juice. We're going right through the middle. <laughs> wow. Good morning, everybody. It has been a long time since I did a review on anything. And the videos have been kind of slowing down because I'm busy. And because not a whole lot of people watch them, so why bother? But I do have a product that I would like to do a review on. Because I wish I had known this earlier. So I... <laughs> I use these, these asterisk cell knee braces when I do moto, just based on bad experience in the past, but also because they're excellent knee protection. I'm not going to talk about these very much. So every time I use these, they chafe up my legs really bad, no matter if I'm wearing you know, those long moto socks that come up to your thighs, and they, they still rub through that, and they tend to gravitate towards the bottom of my leg. I got skinny chicken legs. So these are kind of a pain to wear, if I'm honest, because uh, you end up having to redo them, retighten them, reposition them several times during a ride, particularly if it's a long ride. When they're in position, I really do like them. Anyway, Asterisk has a product that should, quite frankly, be sold with these, in my opinion. And here it is. Let's see. Beep. It's the asterisk zero G knee brace pant. So what this basically is, it's just a compression short pant type thing. But right here, these on Velcro, you put your knee brace on right there, and then you Velcro up over the top of the knee brace. What it does is it holds it right in place. No more sliding down, and with that layer of protection, no more chafing either. Now, one of my biggest concerns was Utah in the summer. It gets really hot. Am I going to even be able to wear these? I was riding yesterday. It was 95 degrees outside. Well, uh, that's what I was told. I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, my, my legs were fine. I don't know all the thermodynamics yet behind these compression pants, and I'm sure I can find it out. I'm sure there's someone that'll comment in the YouTube or in the comment section below that'll tell me all about my compression pants to uh, help cool you down during the summer. I just don't really care yet. Maybe I will get curious enough. And they are kind of pricey 90 bucks. Actually, that's quite a bit. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I didn't pay that much for these. I got these on a sale. These uh, it was like a 30% off sale. Ouch. These are worth it to me. These are very worth it to me. Because with these, I'm more inclined to wear these or any other knee protection. If I don't wear these, I have some other, you know, some old Thor, uh, I don't remember what they are. I think they're Thor Force knee brace, or not knee brace, knee pad. Where it's the same idea here, you have a wraparound down here on the bottom and a wraparound on top of the knee, which is the best thing. Those stupid like knee flapper ones where you only Velcro down on the bottom, uh, on your calf and not on top of the knee. Why do we even use those? I mean, it's better than nothing, but that's ridiculous. They always slide down. It would be awesome if Troy Lee, Fox, Thor, started integrating a technology inside their pants that somehow held knee protection in position. I don't know anybody whose calves are bigger than their thighs. That was, as a result, it's like a natural funnel that funnels the protection down and off your kneecap out of position. And if it's something with a hinge, then you can't bend your knee. And then you're miserable during the whole moto. So, so far, Five stars for performance. Uh, price. <laughs> I don't know what to do with price. Price gets like a three or a two star. But if it, like me, mobilizes you and allows you to use that protection, it's worth it. Uh, as far as durability, I mean, they're pretty simple. But I haven't used these a ton. Uh, oh, one more thing I will note. There is this hole here for you guys that run, you know, the tether between the bottom of the brace down into the drilled hole in your boot. I don't do that because I don't have the tether. 
You don't even have to cut it out or anything. They are ready to go. This is crazy. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh. Okay, these are pretty simple, honestly. There's not a lot that can go wrong here. The only thing that's the crucial area that I am going to keep an eye on, not because it's failed yet or has given me any notions of fail, but because if it does, it'll be a big worry, are these two patches. This is the Velcro, the, the, the Velcro patches on the pants. Uh, when you put these on, you'll also notice the added benefit that it's much easier to get your pants on over because with my knee braces when I put these on alone inside my pants my pants get hung up on every conceivable exposed part on these knee braces on the caps on the hinges man it is a pain on the inner mesh uh, these go on just slick as can be <clears throat> now when you do put these on they are quite tight which is okay they help hold them in place and it helps conform to your knee in addition to holding it up instead of just all the force being held up on the on the on the protection whatever you're using so I'll keep you guys posted I'll keep making some videos on these um, and if anything goes down or goes negative look in the comment section on this video because I will have posted it I will have posted an update but so far so good and really really so good like I said I wish these were sold with every pair of knee braces that Asterisk makes, or that anybody else makes for that matter. If you know of one, of a company that makes knee braces that sells a similar idea pant, um, leave a comment. Let me know which one. It would be good for all of us to know. Okay, well, uh, that's all I've got. Keep, keep, I don't know. I was going to say keep riding. You should do that too. But keep an eye on the channel because I'm going to try to start up making more videos and they're going to be more value adding videos and less just, uh, less just goofy videos. Maybe. It depends on how many people watch.